Hello friends. So let us solve this radical equation problem. The problem is you have 1 raised to the power x which does not have much meaning because 1 raised to the power x is 1 plus 11 raised to the power x is equals to 121 raised to the power x. Then what is the value of x that satisfies this equation? Generally these kinds of problems are solved first by simplifying and converting this into a quadratic equation or cubic equation or at max 4 degree equation. So first simplify and frame the equation as desired. Now in this case what I will do is I will divide both sides by 11 raised to the power x. So original equation is you have 1 raised to the power x plus 11 raised to the power x. This is equals to 121 raised to the power x. Let us divide both sides by 11 raised to the power x. So what you will have? The first term will be 1 raised to the power x divided by 11 raised to the power x. And this will be 1 and this is equals to 121 divided by 11. This raised to the power x, this raised to the power x. Now there is a rule in power that is if you have a raised to the power m divided by b raised to the power m, this can be written as a by b raised to the power m. So if I use this rule I can write this becomes 1 by 11 raised to the power x plus 1 and this is equals to 121 divided by 11 raised to the power x. Now 121 by 11 is simply 11. So this is 11 raised to the power x and this is 1 by 11. 1 raised to the power x is nothing but 1 and then 11 raised to the power x is 11 raised to the power x. We can write like this and this is plus 1. Now see we can make a substitution. So let us make a substitution. Let t is equals to 11 raised to the power x. So with this substitution I can write 1 by t plus 1 this is equals to t. Now let us multiply by t throughout so we will have 1 plus t is equals to t square or you can say this is t square minus t minus 1 is equals to 0. So you see we have converted this equation into a quadratic equation. This radical equation has been converted into a quadratic equation by making some kind of substitution. So these are the things that you will see in many examples you have to do the same thing. Now this is a quadratic equation and you can solve for t. So if you remember for quadratic equation root are given by minus b minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac by 2a. Now in this problem a is equals to 1, b is equals to minus 1 and c is also equals to minus 1. So what will be the value of t? So t will be minus b that is plus plus minus b square is 1 and minus 4 is simply 4. Uh, plus 4 divided by 2. So t is equals to 1 plus root 5 by 2 is one solution. Another solution is 1 minus root 5 by 2 and in this case this solution is a negative solution because root 2 root 5 is greater than 1 so this is a negative quantity. But now you see what is t? t is 11 raised to the power x. And 11 raised to the power x can never be negative because for any value of x this term will be a smaller or this term will be greater but this can ne never be negative. So this solution is rejected. So we are going to reject this solution. So we will only work with one solution and that is t is equals to root 5 plus 1 by 2. Now how can you find x? Because what is t? t is 11 raised to the power x. So now you can solve by considering log. So 11 raised to the power x is equals to root 5 plus 1 by 2. And now if you take log both sides. 
so what you will have you will have this term so this is so let me shift little bit so this is root 5 so another property of log you can apply here and that property is if you have log a raised to the power m this can be written as m times log a so if i use this property i can rewrite this becomes x times log 11 and this is equals to log of root 5 plus 1 by 2 so this means what is x x is equals to log of root 5 plus 1 divided by 2 and this divided by log 11 so this is the answer for this problem and if you want you can calculate this value using a calculator or log table now if you calculate this value will be this value will come x is equals to 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 is the solution for this problem that is the value of x just for practice you can try this problem on the same line that is 1 raised to the power x plus 20 raised to the power x and this is equals to 400 raised to the power x you have to find value of x so let us discuss in the comment box your answer and we can see what are the answer that is correct and if we are getting some incorrect answer so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy please share with your friends like this video subscribe my channel and i will see you in the next video thank you thanks for watching this video